In the following video, we will use HER2 positive panel as an example to demonstrate the value of PDX models in understanding cancer signaling pathway and in helping targeted drug discovery. When HER2 positive gastric PDX models are treated with anti-HER2 antibody, Herceptin, about half of the models showed tumor regression or stasis, while another half kept progressing. And consistent with clinical results, some of the PDX models in the regression group will eventually develop resistance under continuous treatment of Herceptin. Molecular or genomic analysis of these acquired resistant models revealed important information that could be used for patient selection, drug combination test or new therapy development, biomarker discovery, and new drug target identification. Role of HER2 signaling pathway in cancer has been well studied. The HER receptor tyrosine kinase family consists of four members, HER1, HER2, HER3, and HER4. HER2 signaling is started with ligand binding, receptor heterodimerization, followed by activation through downstream signaling cascades, including the MAPK proliferation pathway and or the PI3K AKT pro-survival pathway to regulate cell proliferation, survival, and apoptosis. Herceptin is an improved antibody drug targeting HER2 in breast and gastric cancer. Herceptin binds with high affinity to HER2 extracellular domain, disrupts HER2 downstream intracellular signaling pathways, as well as triggers antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, or ADCC, in HER2-positive tumor cells. Despite the initial effectiveness, tumors in most cancer patients relapse and become resistant to Herceptin after a period of time. Here we show three known mechanisms of Herceptin resistance. First, a truncated HER2 receptor loses its binding site to Herceptin, but still keeps its kinase activity. In this case, Herceptin will not be able to block HER2 activity. The second resistance mechanism involves upregulation of HER2 downstream signaling pathway, mutations in PI3K or AKT, or loss of P10, cause constitutive activation of downstream signaling and resistant to Herceptin treatment. Third, the resistance to Herceptin could also be due to activation of other signaling pathways, including EGFR, CMET, and IGF. In these cases, the growth inhibition effect induced by Herceptin can be compensated by increased signaling through other pathways, resulting in Herceptin resistance. Through genomic comparison of different response groups, we will be able to better understand the underlying drug resistance mechanisms. We can also use the information from bioinformatic analysis to discover drug resistance targets for developing new targeted therapies or combination therapies, or to discover biomarkers for diagnosis.